Hi, uh, this is Anu and I'm going to show you how to do Jasper reports. <clears throat> now Jasper reports, um, whenever you have any reporting requirement, uh, Jasper report is a good, requir uh, good report to develop and the way uh, it basically makes use of um, mm, some database and you can collect all the database uh, information and present it in a, a good manner and you have different you uh, tools uh, that uses jasper report and one of the tools that you're going to be using is i report now i report uh, we need to download i report and we need to set up the database now this first presentation uh, hopefully I'll be able to cover that now I went to you can go to Google and just put I report and it will take you to the source forge and there you can just download it uh, I'm do let's do I report 5 anything is good I think 4 onwards you can just download anything that's good okay once I download So once you've download, downloaded the zip file, um, this is where I da uh, downloaded the zip file, if you can see my mouse. And then I uh, extracted that zip file. And once you extract, you have to go to the path where bin is. So just open this folder and you can see the bin folder. Just inside that you can see iReport.exe. If you run that exe file, uh, your iReport will come up. Okay, so this is Okay, so this is how it looks like and uh, this is the uh, welcome window. Just close this window and you can get your works uh, workspace or this is the area where you will be creating your report. Now just to uh, get familiarized, this is just file, edit, view, format, preview, window, tools and help. And the icon over here is called your database icon. And right next to it you can see the empty data source. So we need to configure this database in order to pull data from uh, from wherever server database server is. So in order to uh, do a configuration or in order to map our database to the report, we need to configure this. Now I will talk about this in the next presentation, how to configure your database.